Today we're going to talk about some of the main things people bring up when they initially move here to Duluth. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss anything. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cody Oakland, a real estate agent here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you're new here and interested in all things Duluth, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you guys could do me a big favor and hit the like button on this video, I would really appreciate it. I'm getting a ton of questions from you guys looking to move here. I love helping everybody out. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home here in the Duluth area, reach out anytime at the phone number or email on the screen below. I'd love to help you out. Now let's talk a little bit more about what people bring up when they move here. All right, we're gonna start today talking a little bit about why people are calling Duluth, Minnesota home and moving here. And I love seeing everyone's reaction, especially when they first get here, uh, if they've never been to Duluth before. And some of the main points, uh, one being is our access to the outdoors. That really surprises everybody uh, because we have so much right here and it doesn't, you don't have to travel far to get to it. And there's a lot uh, nearby just outside of Duluth as well. And Duluth has over 100 parks right here in the city and some are small, uh, some are bigger uh, and they'll maintain them at different variations. So it just kind of depends on what park you're looking to use and live by. But uh, some of the parks, just to give you a reference, are like Hartley Park is gonna be above the Duluth Hill. It's one of our bigger parks. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, I used to live right by Hartley Park over in the Woodland neighborhood. And uh, there's a number of different uh, access trail points. And this part of the Superior Hiking Trail goes through there. And you'll see a lot of people, you know, walking their dogs, biking, hiking around there and uh, you can even cross country ski over there. So it's, it's just a really cool park that isn't far uh, to get to. And uh, one of my other favorite kind of areas isn't far from the Hartley area as well is the Seven Bridges Road. So as you get over there, it, it's a road you can technically drive on, but a lot of people will actually use it for hiking and biking. And there's a number of creeks that go off of it and trail points uh, for biking and hiking. So it's really cool. Um, they block uh, a good chunk of it off in winter time uh, because you do have to cross a number of bridges uh, along the roadway there. But uh, when it's open uh, in our summer months and fall time, it, it's a really cool area to visit. We get a lot of tourists over there as well because Hawk Ridge uh, at the top of the Duluth Hill is uh, just up the way a little bit. And it gives a really cool view of Lake Superior and kind of the lakeside neighborhood and is one of the premier points of bird migration uh, here in Duluth. And it's really cool. And a number of other spots are like Park Point, And that is supposed to be the world's longest freshwater sandbar. And it runs about seven miles long. The sand beach uh, is free public access. There's a, a couple of main access points because there are homes uh, that people own along the the, the beach area there as well uh, but you can go down to uh, the the main park would be Park Point Park and there's a uh, more space for uh, to park your car down there and there's a giant field uh, available for the public to use and sand beach and the beach house and then uh, depending on the time of year uh, there might even be lifeguards over there to uh, watch over everything and you can access Lake Superior directly and so it's really cool most of our Tourism happens uh, through the canal park area just before you get to Park Point. And it's really cool down there. Um, that's where you're gonna find kind of the harbor where uh, people like to watch the, the ships come in and go out because the aerial lift bridge will lift up and let the ships out there uh, into Lake Superior. And you can actually access lake, the lake walk that starts in the Bayfront Canal Park area and runs about eight miles all the way down to Brighton Beach. Uh, close to the North Shore scenic route and that'll give you a lot of access right along Lake Superior. The whole thing doesn't run along Lake Superior but uh, a lot of it will and so you'll see a lot of people using that and uh, I always reference one of my main travel points uh, that I like to hike there is from either parking over by the Rose Garden or down in Canal Park and walking between the two and it's really fun. I, I like stopping at the Portland Malt Shop to get some ice cream. And a few other items I want to mention about the access to the outdoors that we have here because Duluth has really uh, made this a focal point of our area and uh, you have the Duluth Traverse project uh, where it's connecting different neighborhoods around here for mountain biking. It's really cool. Uh, the trails 
it, depending on where you're at, can get a little hilly because of the Duluth Hill, but really awesome for mountain biking. You can use them uh, for hiking as well, but uh, it's one of the few in the entire world that has a gold star rating through the uh, Biking Association for uh, connecting those different neighborhoods like it does. And we have the Superior Hiking Trail that's a, uh, that we mentioned it for, even goes through the Hartley Park. But uh, we have 43 miles of it right here in the Duluth area and it actually goes for about 300 miles uh, up towards Canada. And so even if you've used all the trails here locally, you don't have to travel far to do different routes uh, just outside of Duluth and keep going. So it's really cool. There's people that'll hike the whole thing, which is uh, I've never done, but I've heard it's a lot of fun. Um, we have a lot of state trails outside of that too. So whether you like to go on your ATV side by side, uh, snowmobiling, we've got a lot of designated area for that and a lot of public land uh, that the state owns that you know, the public can use as well that may not have necessarily uh, designated trails but you can go and you know figure out hunting or anything like that and we have a lot of lakes close by and you might be looking at Duluth uh, because of Lake Superior but we have a lot more that are close by that you have uh, for the most part a lot of access to some are going to be private access only for homeowners but you've got like Island Lake, Fish Lake, uh, Pike Lake and Caribou Lake and there's a lot of access points so if you like to swim or boat around or anything, uh, you don't have to travel far to get to a lot of these areas. They might be within, you know, 10 to 20 minutes to get to. And we have a lot more close by. So that's just part of it. And there's a number of rivers, but we also have a uh, Spirit Mountain right here in Duluth that a lot of people uh, don't know about. And if you like to do any snowboarding or skiing, that is gonna be a big deal because we do have Spirit Mountain right here and we've got uh, a number of other places that you can travel to close by if you don't necessarily only want to use Spirit Mountain, but that is right here in Duluth. Another thing that catches a lot of people's attention here is that while we are one of Minnesota's uh, larger cities technically, th there is a smaller population here. So if you're coming from a bigger city, you know, driving around is going to be a lot easier. Uh, there's just going to be less people in general in a lot of the areas, whether you're outside traveling around on different trails or, you know, in stores, you might be used to having a lot more people around. But for a city this size, we do have actually quite a bit available to us. Like uh, the, if you're looking to make sure you're taken care of on the hospital front, we do have two main hospitals. We've got St. Luke's and Essentia. Essential is spending uh, almost a billion dollars on a new facility downtown and upgrading a lot and uh, it's really rare to have uh, access to two main cities or uh, hospitals like that in a city this size because if you go too small in a city you're looking for a lot of them might have a, a clinic or something and you might be an hour or two away from having f access to facilities like Duluth has so while having access to all this you're not necessarily going to be in a big city, which uh, a lot of people appreciate. And we do have a number of colleges here as well. So we've got Lake Superior College, uh, UMD, St. Scholastica right in Duluth. And uh, so that way you don't necessarily have to travel out of the area or go online for everything if you're looking to attend classes or if you have some kids looking uh, into schools here. We do have quite a bit right here. and. We have quite a few uh, retail options as well. So while we do have uh, a lot of the bigger ones, so we've got kind of the Miller Hill Mall area. So we've got the mall. We've got your bigger brands like Target, Walmart, Menards, Home Depot. Uh, we've got a Costco and an Ashley Furniture is the most recent one that just uh, came into town. So we do have quite a bit available. There's certainly more than that. Uh, but we really like to focus uh, as much as we can on our smaller stores here locally owned. Uh, which I, I think a lot of areas do appreciate, but here in Duluth, that's really important to us. So just keep that in mind. We do have a lot of options when it comes to smaller retail shops, whether it's for clothing or gift goods or just services in general. I would definitely keep that in mind. And the unique part to Duluth is we're not far from a lot of areas uh, that have other uh, places you might want to visit as well. So whether it's a weekend trip or you know, maybe you're doing some shopping and you want some extra options that Duluth might not have. We're only a couple hours from uh, like the Twin Cities area. So it's really easy to even go for a day trip if you want. 
So I'd keep that in mind as you're looking into Duluth. And the last thing I wanna to mention today is something that comes up, especially if you're new to having four distinct seasons, is you're probably gonna end up planning around the weather a lot more than you typically do, especially if you're coming from a place like maybe California or something like that because having four seasons, the weather is just part of living here. And especially in any Midwest place, uh, winter is kind of the, the big one that you end up planning around uh, throughout the year. But here in Duluth, because we do have the, the lake effect from Lake Superior, it, it does a lot to protect the area from some of the, the bigger effects you might see elsewhere in the state or in other states. Like um, we get a lot of protection from tornadoes here. And uh, because of our proximity to Lake Superior, but it can make predicting the weather a little different <laughs> because uh, it, it, they might say there's going to be like a rainstorm or something, but you might not know until the the storm's supposed to start if it's really going to happen or not. Um, so it, it can make it a little hard to predict. So sometimes you just end up having to uh, pack extra clothes or you know some extra like camping gear, anything like that when you're doing. Um, maybe some trips or just vacationing around. Um, so just keep that in mind. Yard maintenance is another one. And that comes up a lot because uh, if you're coming from maybe like uh, living in an apartment or uh, uh, an area where maybe there's not a lot of mowing or snow removal you have to do. So because of our seasons here, uh, you're definitely gonna have to get used to, depending on what property you buy, maybe you're going for a condo or a townhome that's in an association and they take care of this for you. But uh, depending on the property you purchase, yard main maintenance is gonna come up for whether it's mowing, uh, leaf cleanup. So if your yard, if you're out in the country and your yard has a lot of trees like mine, um, throughout the middle of the yard, you might have to do a lot of leaf cleanup. Um, and snow removal will depend uh, by the property as well. So if you have a longer driveway, maybe you need some more equipment to do that. Uh, if you have a really small uh, uh, pathway only, you might be able to get away with uh, just shoveling uh, the sidewalk and the steps and everything. Um, but it really helps to have even a little snow blower to take care of some of the driveway area if you have a driveway. And that'll really save you in winter time, even if you have a smaller one. So just keep these things in mind as you're looking at moving here. But those are some things uh, that come up when people initially move here. Well, there you go. There's a little bit of information about the Duluth, Minnesota area and what it's like living here. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share it with a friend, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about Duluth, Minnesota every week. And as always, if you are looking to buy or sell a home here in the Duluth and surrounding area, reach out anytime at the phone number or email on the screen below. Love to help you.